In this video, we will discuss how we can validate a binary search tree. So we are given a binary tree and we have to find out whether it is a valid binary search tree. So for a binary tree to be a BST, it should satisfy the property that the left subtree nodes should be less than the root node and which should be less than the right subtree. And this property should hold true for each node of the tree. Now this is a quite important question which is usually asked in interviews. And the mistake which most people do is they follow the approach in which they check for each node if left child is smaller and the right child is greater. But this is a mistake because if in the tree one we follow this approach, you will see that for 15, this property is true because 7 is less than 15 and 20 is greater than 15. For 7 also, this is true. For 12 also, this is true. And for 20 also, this is true. So if you follow this approach, then the first tree will come out as BST. But this is not a BST because you can see here that the left subtree of 15 has a node 16, which is less than 15. So the BST property fails. So this tree is not a BST. But if you take the second tree in this, each node follows the BST property. So this tree is a BST. So given a root of a binary tree, we have to determine if it is a valid binary search tree. I'll discuss three methods here. Let's start with the first method. So this method makes use of min and max nodes. So if we consider this tree, so the left subtree of 15 should have all the nodes which are less than 15. And the right subtree should have all the nodes which are greater than 15. So similarly, left subtree of 7 should have all nodes which are less than 7. So if we consider the right subtree of 7, so all the nodes should be greater than 7. But we also have a condition here that these nodes should be less than 15 because it is a left subtree of 15. So for each node, we have some min value that we can find and some max value. If all the nodes lie within this range, then we can say that the tree is a BST. So root node can be anything. There is no range for the subtree 7. Nodes should be less than 15. For the subtree 2, nodes should be less than 7. For 12, nodes should be greater than 7, but less than 15. For 10, the nodes should be greater than 7, but less than 12 because it is the left subtree of 12. For 16, the nodes should be greater than 12, but less than 15. For 20, it should be greater than 15. For 17, it should be greater than 15, but less than 20. So if we check now whether this property holds true, for 7, it is true, it is less than 15. For 2, it is less than 7. 12 is greater than 7 and less than 15. 10 is greater than 7 and less than 12. 16 is greater than 12, but not less than 15. So this fails. For 20, it is greater. So this is true. For 17, it is greater than 15, but less than 20. So for node 16, this property does not hold true. So we can say that this tree is not a BST. So this method keeps track of the min and the max nodes for each subtree and then checks this property whether the nodes are in the range of min and max. If all the nodes satisfy that property, then the tree is a BST. If even one node fails, then the tree is not a BST. Now let's check the pseudocode. So we have this function is valid BST, which takes three parameters, a node, a min node and the max node. So first call to this function is for the parameters root of the tree and min node is null and max node is also null. So 15 is the root. So the parameters are 15, null and null. We check if the node is null. So this is the base condition. Then we check if min node is not equal to null or max node is not equal to null. So both are null. So this if condition is false. And then we call this is valid function for the left subtree. And the parameters are min node is null and the node is 15. So we go to the left of 15 and the parameters are left is 7, min node is null and the max node is 15. What it means is that all the nodes which are on left of 15 should have values which are less than 15. 
that is why the max node is 15. We check if node is null, then we have this if condition. So min node is null. So we come to the or part. The max node is 15 and the node value is 7. So we check if 7 is greater than 15. So this is false. So now we go to the left of 7 and we call this function is valid BST. The first parameter is 2, min node is null, and the second parameter node is 7. So now we go to the left of 7 and here the range should be greater than null and less than 7. So now in this next call, the node is 2, the min node is null and the max node is 7. We check if the node is null, then we check this if condition. So min node is null and the max node is 7 and node value is 2. So 2 is greater than 7, this if condition is false. So now we call the left subtree of 2 which is null. The min node is also null and the max node is 2. So now on this next call, the node is null, the min node is null and the max node is 2. We check this if condition if the node is null. So the base condition is now true. So we return back to the node 2. And now we go to the right subtree of 2. So the right node is also null. So we come back to 2. Now the function called 2 ends. We backtrack to 7. And now we have to call the right subtree of 7. So the right subtree of 7 has value 12. The min node is 7. And the max node is 15. We check if the node is null. Then we check the min node. So min node is 7. We check the node value which is 12. So it is greater than 7. So this if condition is false. Then we check the or part. So the max node is 15 and the node value is 12. So 12 is not greater than 15. So this if statement is also false. And now we go to the left subtree of 12 which is 10. The min node is 7 and the node is 12. So this subtree should have all the nodes greater than 7 and less than 12. So now the is valid BST call is for the node 10, min node is 7 and the max node is 12. We check if the node is null. Then we compare the node value which is 10 to the min node which is 7. So this is false. And we compare the node with the max node. So this is also false. So now we call the left subtree of 10. So left subtree of 10 is null. So this will backtrack to 10 and the right subtree of 10 is also null. So this function will also return. Now the function called to 10 ends, we backtrack to 12. And now we have to call the right subtree of 12. So we reach 16. For 16, the nodes should be greater than 12 and less than 15. So now the is valid BST call is for node 16. The min node is 12 and the max node is 15. We check if the node is null. Then we check if the node val which is 16 is less than the min node which is 12. So this is false. And we check the node value 16 is greater than the max node which is 15. So now this is true. So we come inside this statement and we return false. Because this node 16 is greater than node 15. So this should ideally be in the right subtree of 15. So now the BST property does not hold true for node 16. So this function call is valid BST for 16 returns false. The false is returned to the function call to 12, then to 7, and then to 15. So the is valid BST returns false. So this tree is not a BST. So in this method, we keep track of the min and max node for each of the subtree. And then we simply check if the node falls in that range. If the node does not fall in that range, that means the tree is not a BST. Now in some books or sites, you might have seen that they make use of the range int minimum and int max. So instead of this taking min node and the max node as tree pointers, they are taking the integer values as int minimum and int max. But that method is not correct because if the tree has the values as int minimum or int max, then that method would fail. So it is better to take the pointers minimum node and the max node and initialize them with null. So this would work even if the tree has values like int minimum and int max. So this method made use of the minimum and the max nodes. Now let's check the second method which uses in order traversal. 
so as we have seen that the inner traversal is left root and right and for a bst it gives the sorted increasing order so this method makes use of the fact that if the tree is a bst then the in order traversal should be a sorted increasing order so the in order traversal will be this so here we can see that for node 16 and 15 this is not a increasing order so this tree is not a bst so we just do a in order traversal and we check that the node is greater than the previous node if this is not true that means the tree is not a bst let's check the pseudo code of this method so we keep a pointer previous which is initially pointing to null we have this method is valid bst which takes a parameter of tree node so the first parameter to this function will be 15 which is the root of the tree we check if the node is null then we call the is valid bst for the left of 15 which is 7 so now the call is done for node 7 we check if node is null then we again call the is valid bst for the left of 7 which is 2 so now the node is 2 we check if node is null then we call the is valid bst for the left of 2 which is null so now the node is null we come in the first condition so we return true so this function call returns true then we come in the next if condition if previous is not equal to null so previous is null so this if condition is false and now we set previous to the node value 2 so previous becomes 2 and then we call the is valid bst for the right of 2 which is null so when the node is null we return from here so the function call ends and we go back to 2 the function call 2 ends we go back to 7 and now for 7 we have to check this if condition so the previous is 2 and we compare it with node 7 so this if condition is false so now we set previous equal to node which is 7 so previous becomes 7 and now we go to the right subtree of 7 so we reach 12 so now the node is 12 we check if it is null then we call the left subtree of 12 which is 10 so now the node is 10 we check if it is null then we check the left of 10 which is null when the node is null we return true so the call to null ends we go back to 10 then we check if statement so previous is 7 and we compare it with 10 so this if condition is false and now we set the previous value to the node which is 10 so previous becomes 10 and we call the right subtree of 10 which is null so this function call ends and we go back to 12 and now for the node 12 we compare the previous value which is 10 with the node value so this if condition is false we now set previous to 12 and we call the right subtree of 12 which is 16 so now the node is 16 we check if node is null then we call the left subtree of 16 which is null so this function call comes back to 16 and now we compare the previous value which is 12 if it is greater than 16 so this is false we now set the previous to node 16 and we call the right subtree of 16 which is null so the function call to null ends and we go back to 16 now the function call to 16 ends we go back to 12 the call to 12 ends we go back to 7 we call to 7 ends we go back to 15 and now for node 15 we have to compare this if condition so the value of previous is 16 and it is greater than the node value which is 15 so now this if condition is true so we return false from here which means that this tree is not a bst so for a tree to be a bst the next node should be greater than previous node if this property does not hold true then we can say that the tree is not a bst so this method makes use of the in order traversal so here we have used the recursive method of doing the in order traversal now there are various other methods to do the in order traversal which can be done by a stack or by morris order traversal so i've explained both these methods in my previous videos 
So I will link a video in the top right corner which explains the stack method and the Morris order traversal. So we just have to append this if condition which checks the previous node greater than the current node. So these are the various methods by which we can validate a binary search tree. Now once you've understood all these methods, let's have a look at the implementation. So all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main method, I've created these two trees. The root is 15 and the left node is 7. So in this manner, I've initialized both the trees. And now I call this validate VST function in which I pass the root, the min node and the max node. So both are null initially. In this method, validate BST, I check if the node is null, then I return. Then I check if the node value is less than the min node or the node value is greater than the max node. This means the node is not in the range, so we return false. Otherwise, I check in the left subtree and the right subtree. In the second method, which uses the in order traversal, I pass a node and a previous pointer. Previous is initially null. I check if the node is null, then I return true. Then I call this method and I pass the left subtree. If the left subtree call fails, then I return false. Then I check if the previous is greater than node. That means this is not a valid BST, so I return false. After that, I reset the previous and I call the right subtree. So this is the inner traversal, left, root and right. And then the method is using the stack. So this is a simple in order traversal that uses a stack and here also the condition is that previous is greater than current then I return a false. So I pass the root of both these trees in all the three methods and this will give me the output. Now let's check the output of this program. So the first tree is not a BST because 16 is on the left subtree of 15. So all the three methods return zero which means false. So the first tree is not a BST. The second tree is a BST. So all the three methods return one, which means the tree is a BST. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.